It's Thursday, September 19th at 10.08 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's happening. Delivery is upon us. Okay, we just got a call from the maternal grandmother of the, um, the birth mother. I can tell I'm tired and kind of out of it blacked out, but um, about 30 minutes ago, and um, the birth mother had an ultrasound appointment today. They did the ultrasound and uh, were, I think, 33 weeks now of the pregnancy, and the weights of the infants were like 5 pounds, 10 ounces, and 4 pounds, 8 ounces, or something like that. So they're good weights, good weights. And um, this evening, uh, she started going into labor. Um, and she's at the hospital, like, right now, while I'm recording this, in labor, her uh, contractions, dilations, the whole thing, she's up to 9 centimeters, and I think at 10 centimeters, that's when the head starts to crown, or crown head, or something like that. The head starts to come out, presumably. They may do a natural birth, or they may do a C-section. It's still a possibility. Um, so we have been scrambling to find a flight out of uh, Columbia, South Carolina, where we live. There are no more flights tonight. Uh, The best we can do is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. And, um, you know, we've got to find a Sacramento and rent a car, but then we want to come home from San Francisco because we've got to be at my dad's place, all that stuff. So uh, we're going to find San Francisco, and we're either going to rent a car at San Francisco Airport and then drive to Sacramento, or my dad is going to pick us up and we're all going to go to Sacramento together for delivery. Um, the thinking is, with the, do- the doctors are thinking now that they're going to keep them in neonatal ICU until they're 35 weeks, so that would be like two week ICU stay, NICU, intensive care stay, and then they would be out and then we would take them back to my dad's place um, in the San Francisco area. So that's what's going on now. It's just been absolutely crazy. This, is, uh, this whole process has more twin, uh, twists in the, in the crying game, um, if you know that movie. So just to recap, uh, originally we thought that uh, delivery was going to be at 38 weeks, which is like the 25th of October. Then uh, the doctors thought that they shared the same amniotic sac and the monoamniotic. And so then we think it's going to be September 11th. I'm glad we dodged the bullet on that birthday date. Um, so, okay, so no no more September 11th. Uh, then it was going to, oh, okay, we're going to go back to um, the 25th of October uh, because everything's fine. And now she goes into, and, uh, you know, I got back from our trip uh, south to uh, California on a Monday after being out there for about 10 days or so. And uh, now it is Thursday. And uh, Thursday night, I'm going out on Friday. I'm going back out Friday for three, three, three and a half weeks. So, needless to say, I am ecstatic. I'm thrilled. Uh, very happy. Uh, I don't think it's really sunk in yet that I am going to be the father of uh, two twin, two twin girls here. Um, I, just, I don't think it's really sunk in. Uh, for me, yeah, I'm, so I'm consumed in, in just getting there and doing what I need to do in the logistics. Um, but I'm very excited to hear Matt. What are you doing, Matt? He's packing. I have to go pack because um, I leave at 6 in the morning. I don't know. Do we have a ride to the airport? Uh, no. Maybe we're taking a cab. I, I have no idea. Um, what else? I think that's I think that's the, that's it. I mean, what else can I say? Um, yeah, I'll I'll uh, update you uh, uh, probably when we hit. Gosh, well, I'm gonna fly to San Francisco, and then we've got to drive, and then we're gonna go right to the hospital. I got a hotel at some point, and then maybe I can talk to the social worker at the hospital, my friend Gigi. Maybe she can give me a referral to Ronald McDonald's house so that we can stay there while the kids are in the queue. I got a lot to do tomorrow. I don't know when I'm going to make another video because I'm just going to be going the whole time. 
and once I see the babies, I'm going to be involved in that, and I'm going to check into a hotel at some point. I don't know. If I have the energy, I'll make another vlog tomorrow night. Yeah, Friday night. Otherwise, it'll be Saturday or something like that. Anyway, that's the update. I'm just kind of rambling, but at least you can kind of see my state of mind. Very excited, also very tired, and focusing on logistics. Haven't really kicked in that I'm going to be a father and all that. Um, but that's it. I'll keep you posted. All right.